dear learner of जीपेट एग्जामिनेशन नाइपर एग्जामिनेशन एंड अ लवर ऑफ और ये केमिस्ट्री आई हैव ट्राइड हियर टू कवर मोस्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक और आई विल ट्राई द रिमेनिंग टॉपिक फॉर द ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री सो डियर स्टूडेंट और अ लर्नर इफ यू फाइंड एनी टॉपिक अदर देन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री I should have to upload a video for that. Then you can write in comment box, so I can try for it. So here we start with this uh, aromaticity chart two or part number two, and many more video. You can subscribe for the updates. So continuous learning process in a systematic way we are getting. Before going to the aromaticity chart two, we must have to know the hybridizations. For that you have. I hope you seen my video of hybridizations. After that, you must have seen the uh, aromaticity chart one. Let us start a uh, aromaticity chart two. All this thing we had seen in a uh, aromaticity part one. We had covered this part also in aromaticity. I have just uh, taken here to understand this concept and to regain the knowledge. Dear student, in the last aromaticity chart, part one, we have seen a three-member and a four-member most of the ring. Today, I have tried for the homocyclic four-member ring, and later on, some of the heterocyclic a five-member ring, which could help you. Let us see this example. It is very most important. Now, make a focus in continuous. The first goal is to do the hybridization. So, what is the hybridization of this sp3, sp3, sp3? This is sp3. This is also sp3. Now, all the carbon has s, all the carbon have sp3 hybridizations, and number of pi electron. So, number of Pi electron is equal to a lone pair plus pi bond electron is zero. So conclusion is it is a non-aromatic. If we want to see or we want to go back, we can go there and check it whether it is right or not. See this chart determinations of that uh, sp3 and this is non-aromatic. Let us. Then we have another example. This is this one. Let us see this hybridizations. The hybridizations of this is sp two. This is sp two. This is sp two. This is also sp two. Now what about this? This is sp three. Again, it comes under this chart only. This this is comes under this chart only, or it follow this. Okay, so uh, hybridizations containing the sp2 as well as uh, sp3. So we can say that it follow this pathway. This pathway it follow. So this is uh, followed by uh, this molecule. So we can say that now this is known as a number of pi electron. We have to check here number of pi electron. Is two plus two? It is four pi electron. Four pi electron, but it is not in the resonance, and there is no required to calculate a number of pi electron because it is sp three. If it is sp three, I have cancelled out. If you have seen this video of uh, aromaticity part one, so this is a non-aromatic. Let us see the another example. There are the two example. Here we have an interest to calculate a hybridization first. This is sp two. This is sp two. This is sp two. This is sp two. Again, dear student, this is also sp two. All are sp two. Then we have two criteria. What are they? Number of pi electrons. 
So number of pi electron is here four pi electron. Here also four pi electron. Here also four pi electron. But it is in all are sp two. So in case of this, we follow a uh, this pathway. In this case, we follow a uh, this pathway. And this is very important pathway for us. So let us go ahead. So number of four pi electrons. So we can say that this is an anti aromatic compound. Let us see another example of this. What about here? This is sp two. This is sp two. This is again sp two. This is sp two. Dear student, this is also sp two. All are sp two. Very very happy. If the two is there, then there are two pathway. Whether it has a number of pi electron. So there here is six pi electrons. So in case of six pi electron, we can say that it is a aromatic compound. Is it? Let us see a completion of the homocyclic pi member ring. We move to the heterocyclic five-member ring. So in case of heterocyclic five-member ring, this is one of the somewhat a uh, special example. We can say the little bit uh, different. So this is sp two. This is sp two. This is sp two, and this is also sp two, and it has. Also sp2 because hybridizations in number of pile number of lone pair plus pi electron. We see this periodic table. Then boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. Carbon is a case where it follows this octet rule after that all element. But in periodic table. Lithium, beryllium, and boron did not follow this octet rule. That means they have a vacancy. So that vacant p orbital, vacant p orbital, can accept a resonating electron. That everything is okay. But our goal is if it is sp two, we have to find out a number of pi electron. So there are four pi electron. If it is four pi electron, then we have a Anti-aromatic compound. Let us go and take one more example. So for that, here lone pair is there. It is not indicated, but lone pair is there. Now, dear student, if there are two lone pair, we have to consider only one lone pair to come in the resonance. Both the lone pair cannot come. This is sp two. This is sp two. This is sp two. And this is also sp2. The reason behind that, the both the lone pair could not come in a, a resonance. The reason is one lone pair is in a sp2. One lone pair is in a sp2. This is in a sp2, and one lone pair is in a p orbitals and resonance or oh, always we are doing with the help of p orbital this is just for understanding but our goal is very fixed two pi electron this is sp2 sp2 this is also sp2 so we are happy everywhere is two now there are two pathway and we can take and calculate a number of pi electrons number of pi electrons means pi bond electron plus lone pair ultimately we can say number of electron which is present in p orbital Let us see this example and conclude. This is a aromatic compound because according to this chart, let us go ahead and see that according to this chart, we are getting uh, this directions. We are getting uh, such a directions for aromatic chart. Let us see. Go ahead. This all this thing we have seen and we are repeating it. Now here one more example is this. In case of this, a hybridization of this is sp two. Hybridization of this is sp two. Again, this is sp two. Again, 
this nitrogen is also sp2 and this is also sp2 if all are sp2 to 2 then we have two options the option one is either aromatic or anti aromatic let us calculate the number of pi electron here is six pi electron one from pi bonds and two one a two electron from the pi bond and two electron from the lone pair so we can say the compound is a uh, aromatic is it let us go ahead and this example this is well known example of the furan here also the hybridization is sp2 this is sp2 this is sp2 this is sp2 here two lone pair one lone pair in p orbital that we calculate remaining we will not calculate all are sp2 two two then we have two options one is aromatic and another one is anti-aromatic so dear student calculate a number of pi electron so here is a six pi electron so if it is six pi electron we can say this compound is what this compound is a uh, aromatic let us go ahead and see the heterocyclic uh, five member ring a uh, nitrogen has only one lone pair then it is good for us if two lone pair then we have confusion if one lone pair then there is no issue this is sp2 this is sp2 this is sp2 this is also again sp2 all and this one also sp2 because to if you don't know the hybridization please see my first video of hybridization that will clear or all or confusion if you if you like then any problem then write in a comment box so this number of pi electron is here six pi electron if it is six pi electron we can say this compound is a aromatic let us go ahead for this one this is sp2 this is sp2 this is sp2 this is sp2 and here also again the hybridization is sp2 so dear student all are 2 to 2 we have two options one is aromatic and other one is anti-aromatic so calculate a number of pi electron so here number of pi electron is 6 pi electron if it is 6 pi electron then we can say that the compound is aromatic how am i decide that you can see my first video then and then i can get it then we have other options this is this is also sp2 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 and a uh, sp2 so all are sp2 dear student we have two options one is aromatic and other one is anti-aromatic let us calculate a number of pi electron so here we have a six pi electron if it is six pi electron then according to the rules we can say this compound is what aromatic let us go ahead for this here is lone pair here is lone pair so this is sp2 this is also sp2 this is sp2 sp2 and sp2 all are sp2 dear student we have two options one is aromatic and another one is anti-aromatic to calculate here this will give two electrons this will give two electrons and this electron is also considered a two so is equal to six pi electron if it is six pi electron we can say this compound is what the compound is aromatic and i keep this example for you as well as okay I, I, I will take this example no problem this is sp2 this is sp2 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 and sp2 number of pi electrons are six pi electrons we come to the conclusion that this compound is a uh, aromatic Dear student, at the last, I will give you one example. You try your best and write in a comment box what is this and what is the whether it is aromatic or uh, anti aromatic. This is a uh, question for you. So, I hope you enjoyed and learned. 
to continuous that uh, updations of such a video you can like share and subscribe i will try my best for a uh, chemistry those who are doing the preparations for the nipers gpat and many more competitive examinations in a field of pharmacy thank you thanks a lot